when you go on road trips, if you need to use fast chargers, if you need to use destination chargers, that's where I experienced pain. One time I ended up with 2% battery left because one charger had a queue of about, you know, an hour, two hours worth of people. And so I'm excited to hear about what SunGrow is doing in that space. Australia, they are improving the infrastructure for those adding the destination charger and the way are on the way together. The convenience shop that they're, they maybe got, just got a flat load to 30 to 40 kilowatts. But after you bring the destination charger, each of them is at least 180, something like that. It's six times the dial convenience shop. And you put a four of that and agree said, <laughs> you didn't tell me like 10 years ago. So then the who is paying all this info, in, infrastructure, one, the EV charger turns out the battery need to be quickly following that. And one of the lessons we've been learning is if the battery not a response quick enough, you will trip the grid. So the communication will be very important part. The EV starts, battery needs to start, and they need to also get the same ramping power for the ramp down and the ramp, ramp low. So they have to be synchronized together. I don't think we ever really anticipated how quickly EVs would grow and charge from Ampole. They're doing quite a good job. Where we live, I saw them doing quite a big electrification, gentrification, and they're putting the amp charge stations there with SunGrow. And it's phenomenal to see that now happening in shopping centers um, and also too in some highway locations. 